graders, welcome to Chapter 2, Lesson 8. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about financial literacy. Um, the goal today is to be able to use the simple interest formula, which is this formula right here on the board. And I believe that you guys can get 80% of the questions correctly done. So we're going to use the simple interest formula, and we're going to have a goal of getting 80% of our questions done correctly. So the simple interest formula is that if we're given, if we want to figure out how much money extra we're going to get or interest, we're going to get, then what we do is we take the principal, which is our starting amount, we multiply it by the rate. Now, a rate is usually a percentage, so we want to take that percentage and divide it by 100 because we really want to look at our rate as a decimal. And we're going to multiply it by time, and time is always expressed in years. So this formula, we're just going to be multiplying three numbers, but we have to maybe change those three numbers so that they work and actually can multiply based on what this formula says that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and look at a few examples of this today. All right, for our first example, we're going to find the simple interest earned um, from putting $300 into the bank. So interest is where we get kind of like free money given back to us from the bank because they're going to invest our money into different things. So if we put $300 in the bank, we get 5% interest rate, and we're going to leave it in the bank for two years. We're going to see how much money and free money or profit we're going to make. And this is called interest, by the way. So we're going to use the simple interest formula. Interest equals your principal times rate times time. So our interest is going to equal what our principal, or our starting amount, is $300. We're going to multiply it by 5%, but we want to take 5 and divide it by 100 to get our decimal. So 5% as a decimal, 0 0.05. So we're going to multiply it by 0 0.05. And then it's going to be in the bank for two years, and it is expressed in years, so that is good. So if I want to figure out the simple interest between putting $300 in for 5% and for two years, all we got to do, multiply straight across. 300 times 0 0.05 times 2 means that my interest is going to equal... $30. So I'm going to make $30 in interest if I get 5% interest rate and I put it in the bank for two years. And that's how we do these types of problems. Let's go right. In example two, we're going to be putting $735 in the bank. We're going to get a 7% interest rate, and it's going to be in the bank for two and a half years. So we know that our simple interest formula is principal equals rate, or interest equals principal times rate times time, and again, rate has to be a decimal, time has to be years, we have time in years. So our interest is equal to 735 times our rate, which again is going to be 7 divided by 100, and if I take 7 divided by 100, I get 0 0.07, so I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.07. And then times two and a half years. Now, a half is kind of hard to type in my calculator unless I change one half to a decimal. So two and a half years is 2.5 years. So we're going to multiply by 2.5. So I grab my calculator. 735 times 0 0.07 times 2.5. And I get the amount of interest that I'm going to make or free money that the bank is going to pay me for leaving my money in the bank. Looks like this. It says $128 and 62 and a five thousandths of a cent. Well, this five right here is actually going to change that two to three. So the amount of money I'm really going to get is 128 and 63 cents. So this is how much interest I'm going to make on the amount of money that I'm putting into the bank. If I put $735 in and I get 7% interest, I leave it in for two and a half years. The bank is going to pay me $128.63 to leave it in there. That's pretty awesome. They have to do anything for it. It's free money. All right. In example three, we're going to be putting a lot of money in the bank. We're going to put $4,275 into the bank, and we're going to get a great interest rate. We're going to get 19% of our money back. Um, we're going to leave it in the bank for three months. So notice this time it's in months, not in years. 
But again, the simple interest formula says that it's principal times rate times time, and time has to be years. So we have to change months to year, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that, especially if you're just using a calculator to type your answer and get that answer. So the formula is interest equals principal times rate times time. So in this case, interest equals $4,275 times we're going to do 19 over 100 because that's our percentage, which equals 0.19. So we're going to multiply it by 0 0.19, not 0 0.9, but 0 0.19. And since it says three months, what we're going to do is we're going to use parentheses to tell our calculator that this is going to be a fraction. We take three, and since it's in months, we're going to divide it by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. So if we type this in our calculator, we're actually going to get the right answer. So let me grab my calculator. If we get 4,275 times 0.19 times parentheses 3 divided by 12, to leave this amount of money in the bank for four, three months, we're going to get $203.00. And six cents. So in three months, the bank is going to pay us two hundred and six dollars, or two hundred and three dollars and six cents, just to leave the money in the bank. So all we did, we put these in there, and we go ahead and solve it. We're going to do one more problem, and then you guys are done for today. All right. So in our last example, we're going to talk about loans, because sometimes when you borrow money from a bank or some other lender, you might have to pay an interest rate um, for the amount that you borrow. So let's say we borrow $2,000 from a bank. We've got an interest rate of 20%, so we're going to pay them 20% back on top of the $2,000. We still have to pay them the $2,000 back, but we're going to pay them an additional 20%. And this 20% is going to be a one-year payment, so we're going to pay them for one year and pay off the loan. So it says find the simple interest rate paid to the nearest cent for each loan. So. We're going to do the same formula, but instead of actually making money, we're going to pay this amount of money. We have interest equals principal times rate times time. Interest equals $2,000 times 20% is 0 0.20. And times time, which is one year, we're going to figure out how much money we're going to pay the bank for that. If we pay $2,000, and we pay it for one year, that $2,000 loan is going to cost us $400 in interest. So the total amount that we would pay back if we borrow $2,000 is we pay $2,400 um, because that's how much we'll have to pay back. We borrow $2,000, but we have to pay them $2,400 back to borrow the $2,000 at a 20% interest rate. That's it for today's lesson. Hopefully you guys are understanding this. You guys did great in class yesterday, and I'll see you in class today. And you guys have a great day.